Hello and welcome everybody to this Azure Synapse Espresso. I'm joined here today by Philip, which means serverless SQL pools. We're going to talk about today about a very common issue we see at our clients, which is not collocating your storage and your engine together. But first, if this is the first time you're visiting our channel and you like Synapse Espresso or you like the content, uh, subscribe uh, to this channel. We've got loads of different videos coming in. Uh, if you like the video after watching this video, just give us a thumbs up. And if you have any questions about what we've shown you or if you want to see something else, just write it in the comments and we'll definitely get back to you. Now, Philip, um, what is collocating storage and engine? Can you, can you quickly explain what it is and why it's important? The collocation of resources means that the resources are located in the same region. Basically, uh, that way you eliminate the network uh, latency. Uh, and when you speak about collocation, we think of storage account, like source, something that serverless SQL pool reads from, and the client tool, which might be a Power BI, analysis services, or SSMS on your desktop machine. Okay, great. So um, this basically means that if your storage is in Northern Europe, your service or your client should also be in North Europe. Is it in West Europe? West Europe. ECS, ECS, just mainly getting in the same Azure region as such, right? Exactly. And let's dive into them. Here we have a Comstar query from uh, on top of the line item uh, table from TPCH one terabyte data set. Um, and this one uh, executed in a same region, meaning that uh, this data set is in the same region as serverless SQL pool. And we can see that this query took uh, just four seconds. If we executed the same query um, across the region, in this case, I have a, a, um, a serverless SQL pool endpoint in a East US2 region and um, serverless SQL pool is in a West Europe, we can see that it actually takes a 10 seconds. So here we have another query, which is returning a large result set, like million rows from a customer's table to my local machine to, to SSMS. And this is running within the same region. So we can see it finished execution in like 15 seconds. So if we execute the same query, but this time targeting serverless SQL pool in a remote region, we can see that query duration took way, way, way longer. So like 24 seconds versus, versus 15 seconds within the same region. And it's important to note that this latency is, uh, not consistent it's expected to have it but it's not consistent so we can uh, sometimes it can happen that your users are happy with the query durations even when you uh, execute a cross-region queries but due to variability and the variability of late network latency they can get um, different uh, durations of their queries and then they can be unhappy from time to time so please make sure that you have all the resources collocated in the same region okay Awesome. So basically this means always check if you're deploying resources that you get them in the same region to avoid that latency. And as Philip told you, um, sometimes you might not even notice this, this latency, but sometimes when the network is a bit more overloaded, you will, you will notice some slowdowns. And if there's one thing a user usually doesn't like is when you execute a query and suddenly it takes longer without a specific reason. So that's why we say collocate your resources and you will not hit this problem we've just shown you. Um, if this was the first time you're watching a video of us uh, and you liked the video, just give us a thumbs up. Um, if you like the content and you want to see more of this, just subscribe to the, to the channel. And if you have any questions or if you have any other comments or remarks or you want to see any other video, just write it in the comments and we'll get back to you. As always, from the Synapse Espresso team, this is Stan and Hi, Philip. <laughs> Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.